Hello, my dear children. Can we continue the chapter Reproduction in Animals? There are two methods of reproduction. Sexual and Asexual Reproduction. Sexual reproduction is the mode of reproduction in which the organism arises from two parents of the opposite sexes. So far, we have learned about reproduction in some familiar animals. But what about very small animals like hydra and microscopic organisms like amoeba? Do you know how they reproduce? Actually, they reproduce asexually. Asexual reproduction is the mode of reproduction in which the organism arises from a single parent. Budding and binary fission are the common methods in asexual reproduction. So now we can learn in detail. Can you identify this organism? This is Hydra. Hydra is a freshwater multicellular organism about 1 cm long. It has tentacles. It can move in the water. In middle of the tentacles there will be a mouth. In each hydra there may be one or more bulges. These bulges are the developing new individuals and they are called buds. A small bud appears on the body. A mouth developed on the anterior end of this developing bud. Followed by tentacles. Later, this newly formed bud will separate from the parent amoeba. Look at this picture. Here, it explains the complete process of budding. New individuals develop from the buds in Hydra. This type of asexual reproduction is called budding. Another organism which reproduce by budding process is yeast. Can you recall the presence of yeast in the food item? Yeast is a unicellular organism. Look at the di second diagram. Developing bud. A bud is developing there. In the third diagram, a new bud is formed. In the fourth diagram, you can see there are many buds. In the form of chains. Now what will happen to the newly formed buds? It will separate from the parent bud. Another method of asexual reproduction is binary fission. The organisms which reproduce by binary fission are amoeba, paramecium and euglena. In binary fission, two organisms are formed from a single parent. Let's take an example. Amoeba. Amoeba is a unicellular organism which contain a nucleus which is surrounded by cytoplasm. Amoeba can change its shape. That is the speciality of amoeba. It begins the process of reproduction by the division of its nucleus. Look at this amoeba. Amoeba is elongated along with the nucleus. And the nucleus divided into two nuclei. This is followed by the division of its body into two. Each part receiving a nucleus. Finally, 
two daughter cells are produced from a single parent amoeba. This type of asexual reproduction is called binary fission. Let's see some other examples. Paramecium. Like amoeba, paramecium also will divide into two daughter cells. This is euglena. Here the binary fission will happen and euglena will give rise to two daughter cells. Story of Dolly, the clone. Cloning is the production of an exact copy of a cell, any other living part or a complete organism. Cloning of an animal was successfully performed for the first time by Jan Wilmot and his colleagues. They cloned successfully a sheep named Dolly. Look at the third picture here. That is the Dolly the clone. Like sexual reproduction, Dolly also has two parents, but both the parents are female here. During the process of cloning Dolly, a cell was collected from the mammary gland. Mammary gland is the milk producing gland of female fin dorset sheep. Look at the second parent here, the name of the Sheep is fin dorset variety. So from that sheep, a cell from the mammary gland has collected. Simultaneously, an egg was obtained from a Scottish black face. So from the second parent, egg cell was taken. The nucleus was removed from the egg. Then, the nucleus of the mammary gland cell from the fin dorset sheep was inserted into the egg of the Scottish black face eve, whose nucleus had been removed. The egg thus produced was implanted into the Scottish black face eve. The fused cell, which is formed as an egg here, will divide to form an embryo. That embryo has placed in the uterus of the squattish black face eve. And the development of this egg followed normally and finally Dolly was born. Now you compare this Dolly with the sheep which was delivered the Scottish black face. Here the Dolly did not show any character of the Scottish black face eve. Dolly was found to be absolutely identical to the fin dorset sheep from which the nucleus was taken. Since the nucleus from the egg of the Scottish black face eva was removed, so Dolly did not show any character of the Scottish black face eva. Try to find the answers of these exercise questions from your textbook. There are total 10 questions are there. Try to find the answers and we can discuss in the live class.